All right, good afternoon, Recon here with TechOut. Been running iOS 26 here for about a couple hours now. And I want to report some bugs that I have found right off the bat. And these can be kind of significant depending on who you are. Um, it's got your obvious beta kind of stutter and lag and, you know, here and there. Uh, it was a quite a large update, like I said in my other video, about 13 to 14 gigabytes here on my iPhone 14 Pro Max, or iPhone 16 Pro Max. Um, so I'm going to give it a little bit of time to kind of work things out. Uh, battery is draining quite rapidly. Again, pretty large update, so I'm going to give it some time to, to work itself out and see if that improves. Um, it is beta 1, so obviously that's going to change between beta 1 and uh, later betas or public releases. But, um, you know, we have some increased usage and we have some stuff going on in the back background. But you can see we've dropped over 10% in less than an hour, and I haven't even been using the phone the whole time. So um, it is warm. Battery is dropping quite rapidly, um, and it's been probably about three hours since I installed the beta. So um, I was kind of hoping that that would kind of start to slow down a little bit, but it really hasn't. Um, one major issue I'm having is I'm noticing third-party apps are not sending haptic notifications. I'm still getting the regular pop-up notifications or notifications on the lock screen, but the phone is not vibrating whatsoever. Um, and I do have it set to vibrate in notifications and sound and haptics. It is set to um, always play haptics, and it is not doing that uh, for most third-party apps. Uh, it works for messages, the phone rings, all that kind of stuff seems to be working. Uh, my Apple Watch seems to do the haptics most of the time. Um, I did try taking the Apple Watch off to see if that affected the phone, um, to see if the notifications on the phone would vibrate on the phone rather than the watch. That didn't change anything, so not too sure what's going on there. Obviously, we have a little bit of a bug, um, but I want to let you guys know that's just some of the stuff that I noticed right off the bat um, for those people wondering if it's stable enough for your personal device or your daily driver. Um, well, if you want to get notifications reliably or you want to feel your notifications, um, I would go ahead and hold off. I'm pretty sure the sound on the notifications isn't working correctly either. Um, like I said, for third-party apps, Snapchat, like that didn't vibrate at all right there when that popped up. Nothing happened. It just popped up. Uh, there was no haptic vibration or anything like there usually is. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, notifications are kind of buggy. Um, the third-party apps don't have uh, the new keyboard, and I did notice this might have something to do tying it all in. Um, wrong one. Um, Okay, there's sound on that keyboard. Sometimes the keyboard doesn't have sound uh, in third-party apps. I noticed the new style keyboard, uh, like we have in settings, this newer keyboard that's in the system apps and messages and stuff like that, the sound always works on that. Uh, but it's kind of weird. It works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. And then, like I said, notifications are kind of buggy right now in beta 1. So just keep that in mind. I did submit this bug report, um, so Apple will know about it, and we'll see if anybody else... Uh, has any similar reports. I'm Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day.